spades. Well, I'll shake one. Take one, take one, Mark. The more I win, the more you don't. I'm having a lot of fun. What does it feel like to be a part of this massive, insanely popular game? Uh, it's all right, I mean, you know. I don't think anyone involved had any idea just how big this thing would become. I remember asking them, hey, you, is this gonna be a big rollout? And they said, no, we're just gonna sort of launch it. And they did, and it just blew up. You chose the wrong door to knock on. I remember wanting there to be mystery. She's a very matter of fact, tough girl who doesn't want to show her emotion. But in that, there is mystery because every now and then you hear like a little hint of it want to come out. I remember the initial direction was just pretty much like calm, like play it really calm, really never a moment of like panic. And I would say that that is not me. <laughs> not my first battle. I've been to this rodeo before. So this is how I speak normally, and then I am Bluthunder, you can call me Bloodhound. Like, you know, sort of, it's, it's, a, it's a fun pitch drop for me. The game offers a fresh hunt. It was very refreshing to have a, a, a character who's the villain of the piece. Death is inevitable. But has this steel, cool calm. Your gratitude is acknowledged. Tell the gods you want a more exciting death next time. When they pulled that image up and I took a look at it, I was like, wow, man, that guy looks like a maniac. And then when I got in front of the microphone, it was like, let's go. Whoa. I have my private moments where I do my own Gibraltar. Gibraltar says, study your homework. Don't worry, most people get killed by me. Try better next time. So seeing the fan response to something like this is when you know they've struck gold. I think it's fantastic that you can take a character, you can throw it out into the world, and then there's the opportunity for people to do what they want with it. There was one that sticks out to me where she's kind of like balled up with her knees to her chest and her head is down. Like, I wonder why that person drew it and what they were thinking and what they wanted to represent. I actually have in my studio, I have a couple of pieces of fan art that I put up on the wall that people sent me that I really appreciated. Small up yourself. It just says coming true. <laughs> I see you shaking, and it ain't cause it's cool. It's the first time that I've had a character that is so representational of my makeup. As a person who has a multicultural background, it, it means a lot, but I love how valuable um, she's become on every team. The closest part of Octane to me is definitely his humor. He's got some good little jabs. For a dome guy, you're perfect! In reference to there being a little bit of me in Mirage, I would say uh, quite possibly the, the, the self-deprecation moments at the very end of something where he thinks he's being so witty and funny and then all of a sudden at the end he just kind of bails on it. That definitely feels like me. Bam, there goes a boozle! Or something like that. I didn't, okay. Well, when I saw his photo, I went, wait a minute here. These look like my relatives. I was honored, I'm still honored, that there is a native person in these games and that you guys said, hey, will you bring a little life to him of the culture that you're representing? And I said, absolutely. To have female representation that is strong, that isn't overly sexualized, and doesn't have to just be like a boy, but she can be a woman. Till death I said hello. Just even psychologically how important it is for people to see just positive representations of people they might not otherwise know. People who look like themselves or people that look like people that they don't necessarily know in their everyday. The number of uh, non-binary and trans people who have reached out to me, it's been so wonderful and so great to see them as excited as they are for actually having a character who represents them. I'm so grateful that we as a collective have done something that has made them feel that they matter and they're represented and they're being listened to and they're valid. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I was like, yes. Yes. We've had so much fun. <laughs> I'm most looking forward to see what you guys have in store next. I mean, who knows? It's, it's blown up so quickly. It's, uh, it's hard to see where it could stop. And they have so much planned. I hope it lasts forever. Yeah, I'll say that. <laughs> I hope Apex lasts forever. <laughs>